Now with regards to raising the hands and making dua, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have been reported as raising his hands in many occasions while making dua. Sometimes raising his hands to the extent that the whiteness under his arm would be uh, very clear to the viewers. Mm. So raising the hands is recommended and it is one of the etiquette of making dua. This is uh, something that's agreed upon it. Mm -hmm. But the question is, there are certain uh, situations where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has not been reported as raising his hands while making dua. I'm talking about the followers. When the Prophet is making dua, for instance, while he was giving the khutbah, he would point by the index finger, so the companions would not raise their hands. So that's why uh, those who are strictly following the Sunnah said, it is not prescribed to raise your hands in this uh, situation. Also, we discussed in details repeatedly that dua is recommended at any time but there are best times such as while making sujood and by the end of every prayer whether fard or nafl prior to making tasdeem right after you recite the drood sharif or at tashahud or at tahiyyat mm -hmm. and before making tasdeem the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was reported as invoking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala almost after every tashahud and before tasdeem seek a refuge with allah from uh, four things from the trial of life and death from the trial of the false messiah and from the torment of the grave uh, so it is also recommended to copy the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this regard now we come to a very important thing which is is it a sunnah to make dua right after the salah whether in congregation or uh, in, uh, in singular everyone by themselves no there is no indications whatsoever but if somebody does that every once in a while there is no problem because the dua we said it is recommended after every ta'a uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to invoke him upon completing the manasik of hajj فَإِذَا قَضَيْتُمْ مَنَاسِكَكُمْ فَاذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ كَذِكْرِكُمْ آبَاءَكُمْ أَوْ أَشَدَّ ذِكْرَ فَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقٍ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ So in, in, in these verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs us as what kind of da'a should be invoked right upon completing the ceremonies of hajj. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said للصائم عند فطره دعوة لا ترد at the time of breaking your fast, the conclusion of a great righteous act, which is fasting, you have an invocation which will not be rejected. It mm -hmm. will be honored and answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And similarly, and that's why we say the best time to make dua after the prayer is after reciting the Druh Sharif or at tashahud and before making the salam or within the sujood. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to be limited to the four uh, invocations, seek a refuge with Allah from the false messiah, life, the trial of life and death, etc. You can expand. So if you have anything in, in mind, you can expand. Also, I'd like to confirm my statement to the brothers and sisters who are non-Arabic speakers, who do not know how to make dua in Arabic. And somebody wants Allah to make it easy for him to buy a car, mm -hmm. or to marry to this girl, yes. or to move to another country, or to have a better job. Can I make dua in Urdu? Yes, you can. <laughs> can I make dua in French? Yes, obviously you can. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا So, Islam is not only for Arab. Mm -hmm. Nor is it only for Arabic speakers. And even if you don't know Arabic and you're a good devout Muslim, you only know what is enough for you to offer your prayer and worship Allah properly, you're eligible to enter paradise perhaps more than others who know the Arabic language perfectly, but they do not perfect what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them to do. Hello. So I'm confirming you can always make dua in your language if you do not know uh, uh, the Arabic language. And it is always best to memorize a few supplications have been stated in the Quran or by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So brother, if every once in a while you're making that, you're making dua after the prayer, this is not an innovation. It would be only an innovation if you make it a practice or a tradition that you do it after every salah. Wallahi